Mixer Patalainen's Finnish contacts book may have helped unearth a star turn for Kilmarnock. Alexei Yeremenko is a fellow countryman and he made his debut at Rugby Park against St Mirren. Two teams who dug out a badly needed win a fortnight ago. Oh, there's a mix-up, it's Hamill and Kilmarnock have surely won it right in the end! Here's Jonathan with the highlights. It was Kilmarnock out of the blocks first. David Silva with the shot from way out, saved by St Mirren keeper Paul Gallagher. And this the first of many saves Gallagher would be forced into making before the afternoon was out. From Ukrainian side Metlis Kharkiv, Alexei Yeremenko was next to test Gallagher. This free kick, a taste of things to come from the Finland international. Another Kilmarnock new signing, James Dayton, then took his chance to shine. The winger cutting inside from the right. And how about this for a strike? The goal from the former Crystal Palace player coming in the 29th minute. Gallagher with no chance. But three minutes into the second half, St Mirren equalised. Stephen Thompson with the goal. St Mirren striker Gareth Wardlaw out-muscling Mohamedou Sissoko. And Thompson's run from midfield perfectly timed. Despite just one training session with his new Kelly teammates, Alexei Yeremenko, here on the ball, looked more than happy with his new rugby park surroundings. His clever link-up with Harry Forrester almost resulted in Kilmarnock with scoring their lead. The striker on loan from Aston Villa firing just wide. Yeremenko making his debut for Kilmarnock would finish man of the match and more was to come from the Russian-born Finn. In the 56th minute, a free kick for Kilmarnock and from an unlikely position, they found the back of the net. Yeremenko with the goal, a dream come true is how he described this moment. The 46 times cap midfielder looking like he was shaping the cross before surprising everyone by hitting the target. St Mirren finished the game with 10 men, Paul McGowan sent off after throwing a punch at Manuel Pascali. And this attempted punch not the last time McGowan would raise his hands in anger before disappearing down the tunnel. 2-1 the final score, Mixu Patalainen can point the finger at the fact his Kilmarnock side are up to fifth. Well he's only played one game for Kilmarnock but Alexei Yeremenko, let's jump to conclusions anyway. From what you saw there Billy, does he look pretty handy? Yes, I must confess I've never heard of him. He's got 46 caps for, for uh, Finland. Uh, the one thing we see, free kick specialist. Uh, Tess, you know, Gallagher there. And obviously, you know, later on, shots and goal. You know, very, very useful on the ball. Plenty of people around about him seem to vision. But uh, you know, he'll be tested in, in the weeks to come when people see his strength, you know. Yeah, it, tell, it tells you something about his belief in himself, doesn't it? When he's willing to immediately stand over a set piece for his new team, uh, have that earlier cracker goal and then of course score the winning goal here. Yeah, you get players like that who are confident taking free kicks. I, I think uh, I think some will be really disappointed with the goal. I think Paul Gallagher seems to slip, he's gonna move his feet, he slides in the, at the grass and uh, he'll be disappointed to lose a goal in the post, I think. I suppose we can jump to a conclusion about how he's ended up there because Mixu Patalainen's Finnish contacts have, have got him there. Uh, and is, is that an important part of the game now, who you've got in your contacts book? Because obviously you brought in the, the Paisha twins from, from Portugal.